Hello, welcome back to our Subnautica Let's Play, a very belated episode 8, because they've released a new update called the Prawn Update, in which they've added an exosuit mech, which we're going to investigate today. Um, so I'm in creative mode this time, we're not carrying on from where we left off or anything, because otherwise it'd take us forever. Oh my god, I can't see. <laughs> right, so, first of all, we're actually going to have to build the mech called the Prawn. So we're using our vehicle bay, vehicles exosuit. So this would normally require aluminium oxide crystals, plus steel ingots, uranium, and lubricant. Most of that is not early game stuff, so don't expect to be able to build an exosuit right off the bat in anything but creative. There it is! Um, it'll eventually be built. So we're going to also have to build a moon pool as well, because we are going to want to upgrade our exosuit. Let's go over to it. There we go. Just jump aboard. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yes! So, it's all about stomping around and punching things. Yes. It's not very good at the moment, but once we've upgraded it, it'll have lots of exciting stuff. And it'll be able to go very deep. And I think to start with, you can only go 900 metres into the ground, into the, into the ocean. But you can upgrade that. You can also pick things up, just like you can with your hands. And it should put it into your storage, which is at the back here. There we go, we picked up some quartz. Um, anything in storage can be used in the propulsion cannon if you've got one. Elsewhere you can um, re redo the power cells, there's two of them, just like you can with things like Cyclops. And there's also upgrade slots. This is where your all important upgrades will live. There are two um, exosuit specific slots for things like grappling hooks, plus four generic ones. These are modules that it shares with the Seamoth. Uh, right. Okay, so let's build a little moon pool very quickly. So we'll need a habitat builder. Moon pool. Where should we bung this? Well, there, since it's some green. Uh, might get ourselves a little hatch as well. Just because I like a hatch <laughs> on my moon pool. There we go. Right, let's actually dock this thing, because you can dock it. Shout out to the GAC. Go up here, it'll automatically grab it, and we're aboard, all aboard, and there we go. So if we want to upgrade the damn thing, we will actually have to build, I'll keep on going to that, we will have to build a vehicle modification station, bung it on the wall, just there. Ah, now we can modify things, up we go. So this um, has common modules, these things are all things that can go in either the Seamoth or the prawn. So let's build some of these. A pressure compensator, which will mean you can go a bit further deep under underwater. Um, hull reinforcements that speaks for itself. Power efficiency module recycles heat. Blah blah blah. Minimise power e inefficiencies. Uh, requires a computer chip if you're going to craft this normally. And a storage module, which will increase storage on your thingamy. Right, we'll also, um, we don't want to build any Seamoth modules, we'll also want to build exosuit specific modules. Um, there are things like a thermal reactor and a jump jet upgrade, but we're going to do these purple ones, so which are basically the arms. So that's the propulsion cannon. You can only have two of these on at any one time. A grappling arm, advanced wiring kit and titanium. Nothing hugely onerous. Oh, diamonds. Uh, <laughs> Prone suit drill arm. Yeah. And your torpedo arm, uh, which reminds me, you, you'll probably really want some additional torpedoes as well. Although I think my inventory might be getting a bit full by now. Yeah, let's not do any more for the time being. Right, let's bung these in. So, which which side am I on? I think this is the right one. Oh, no, this is the wrong side. So a little sprint around. I think sprinting is new. I huh, can't remember. Anyway, let's bung in. So, first of all, we want pressure compensator, hull reinforcement storage, and power efficiency. Um, and so you've got these two slots here. We'll put in the propulsion cannon and the torpedo arm first. And we've got two torpedoes at least. And let's go inside the mech. Let's go down. Oh, might have to go this way. So, um, I've forgotten which way around this was. Um, left. Oh, that would appear to be the propulsion cannon. Uh, bye! <laughs> you can also load the propulsion cannon by pressing F. All I have though is quartz. Um, so I'm going to select that, and 
Bye! <laughs> Fuck off, Crystal! Yes. Um, so now we're going to use the right click and we're going to use a torpedo. <laughs> That's the vortex cannon. You too! And... God, this... Oh dear, we've actually run out. So, I didn't actually manage to really make any gas torpedoes, but never mind. Uh, they're all very jolly, I'm sure you'll agree. <laughs> yeah. Just ignore these for now. Right, let's get out. Right, I'm just going to fiddle around. Where is it? <laughs> Always so fiddly to do this. Let's take out those things and put in the drill arm and the grappling arm. Uh, these are a bit more fun. Although, to be honest, the drilling arm... Oh, well, God, I'm not in the mech. <laughs> the, the drilling arm I haven't really investigated yet. Uh, I'm sure you, you, if you want to do some hot drilling action, be my guest, but I'm not going to spend much time doing that. Because the grappling hook is more fun. Um, if you actually get close to anything that can be grappled. Oops, <laughs> retracting it. Don't want to do that. you got to keep, hold the mouse button whilst you do this. Way. And way, I think. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, <laughs> the mech does have a bit of trouble in enclosed spaces. Ow! What the fuck? Up, up, up! It's one of those things. Run, run! Ah, ah, ah. Right, so that's a very quick wh whistle stop tour of what the, the mech suit can do just generally when you're um, upgrading it. Uh, let's just park it there for a second. Oh, let's grab some scrap. Oh, God, hang on. Can I even. Can I. Did I even see it? I've got us having trouble loading. Ah, fuck off then. So I didn't realise you couldn't you can't actually grab things when you've got these things actually activated, which was slightly surprising. Huh. Uh, anyway. So yes, I think um if you um you do but do bear in mind that these things um do have stats on them at the bottom. So health fifty five, energy one hundred percent, and thrust one hundred percent. So I'm down to fifty five percent already. This mech is not great. <laughs> it's a little unhealthy. And of course, thrust does deplete, but when you're actually standing still, it'll come back again. So you can't just kind of thrust forever. But you can get around reasonably well. Yeah, I can get to the surface. Oh my god, that took a while to load. Performance and all that. So elsewhere in this update, um, the Aurora is now a lot more explorable. There's a lot of new things to find. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> uh, yes, a submarine just landed on my head. <laughs> I forgot I was building a Cyclops. Ugh. Yeah, so the Aurora's a lot more to explore and stuff to find. Some of the other wrecks that you find generally around the place, if you look hard enough, they're also have uh, they've also been expanded and made more interesting to explore. Also, lava zones have more stuff in them, and they've got two new creatures for all your creature killing needs, I guess. So the mech itself also has a little beacon, so you can always find it. Let's get in. See if we can actually dock ourselves in the bloody Cyclops. Ow! Ow! <laughs> God damn it. Uh, can you actually do this? I think you can. Oh, here we go. Uh, uh, I, I, I didn't think I, I don't think I parked this very well. <laughs> uh, well, the submarine, to be fair, the submarine did fall out of the sky. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's more like it. Does anyone remember where they parked the Aurora? Oh, oh dear. I think I might be scraping the bottom of the, um, yeah. <laughs> Let's pretend that's not happening. There it is. That s subtle little <laughs> thing on the horizon. Obviously, this is a creative mode, so there's no radiation. Uh, bloody hell, look at Mars go. It's caning it across the sky. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, yes, it's going to get scraped. Uh, oh, bollocks. Oh, dear. This was not the best route to take. Uh, Oh, lads. Oh. Oh, dear. I might have to go round. <laughs> Bloody hell, it's... How long have we been playing this? I've only discovered just now that the Cyclops can do this. Hours of entertainment. I'm sure you'll agree. Right, let's get our mech. One thing is I didn't bother to change anything in my loadout, but never mind. Oh, blimey. <laughs> oh, I'm such a bad driver. I'm not going to bother scanning anything. I'm being creative, goddammit. Oh, hello. 
lads. Um, so there's a mild problem. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think this might be the end of my mech. Um, <laughs> piss. Ah, it's lost interest. I'm fine, everyone. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm not fine. Shit. Right, anyway, um, I'll leave any proper exploration for another time. And the Aurora is, apparently now is rather huge now in scope. Um, it's got new rooms, new technology, story pieces, and new creatures as well, all ready to be found. Um, but for now, I just wanted a quick video on the mech itself. Um, also, apparently the drill only works on large mineral deposits, not just anything. So I wasn't having much luck earlier. <laughs> Okay, so that's it. Um, so thanks for watching. Um, this has been Jamie from randomizeduser.com. Uh, subscribe for more videos on the latest games in development, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.